Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. So let's jump right into this Kickstarter preview for Grey Eminence. And yes, I'm holding a rule book because I don't have a box, because this is a prototype. Thing one, theme. So Grey Eminence looks at politics through the guise of powerful and influential people. Now, creating a game about politics by itself is, you know, pretty unusual, but one that correlates so directly with real and sensitive topics is definitely a standout. I can't really compare it to any other similar games. It's kind of in a league of its own. But do you need to really know a lot about politics to be appreciating this theme? While politics technically affects all of us, um, it's kind of inescapable. But speaking as someone who doesn't really follow political issues directly, I still found plenty of things to connect with in this game. How interesting this theme is really depends on you. Thing two, mechanics. Grey Eminence combines a number of mechanisms such as bidding, hand management, and some sort of social deduction too. There's something very elegant about how it's all put together and I feel like it really replicates the theme incredibly well. It's fun and engaging trying to manipulate the event outcomes, but also trying to convince other players to join your cause. The way that the, the tweets are revealed during events are both harrowing and hilarious, and I kind of enjoyed the unknown element they brought to each event. Um, now, you can approach Grey Eminence in two ways. One where everyone is secretive and keeps their cards to their chest, or another where there is much wheeling, dealing, and haggling between players. I really enjoyed the fact that these mechanics lend themselves to a variety of playstyles and yet still remain true to the theme. Thing 3 on the table. So this game's table presence comes primarily from your character cards and your player mats. And I'm not going to lie, it does look a little bit busy when it's all set up on the table. There is a central board and plenty of decks of cards, but they really don't seem to take up that much space. Set up on a whole is quick and straightforward, and the rule book, which isn't entirely finished, might I add, is short and definitely to the point. Um, there's no doubt about it, this is a lengthier game to play because there's a variety of tough choices to be made, lots of chat and social interaction. Um, Variability-wise, there's plenty here due to the large number of cards in both the tweet and the gold stack, and you even have the option to play the game for five or eight rounds, giving you different ways to approach the puzzle each time you try it out. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Well, firstly, take note that I have a prototype. This is not the final version of the game. It may not even look like this, um, but I still have to comment, I suppose, on its aesthetic appeal. Um, and Grey Eminence does look dark, brooding, and very slick. We feel like we're entering into this warped, parallel version of our own world with these dark and eerie characters. It's definitely very foreboding. Um, the cards themselves are made of something kind of incredible, which feels durable and nice at the same time. And since the game is mostly made of cards, I think that's actually really important. Um, I like the player boards a lot, and they have all of the game phases written on them and space for your cards. And this definitely helps to keep track of everything while you're playing. But I can't help but wish that there was less text on them. It makes them kind of unappealing to look at. Um, on a whole, this game looks functional rather than aesthetically pretty, but that's probably more to do with the fact that I have a prototype. Thing five, is this game any good? Well, the real draw of Grey Eminence is simply its theme. Sure, there are some fine mechanics here, but that's not really the reason you'd be buying this. You'll know from the game's description if this is a rabbit hole you'd kind of like to jump down or not. Now, the theme itself, I think we can all agree that politics is important, and it's something that affects pretty much every aspect of our lives. But is this a topic we want to be thinking about when playing games? This is a serious theme, and yes, yeah, some people are going to love that. However, that doesn't necessarily make it a serious game. Oftentimes, your character will require an outcome you wouldn't have chosen yourself, and this can kind of distance you from becoming overly involved with the topics at hand. However, that doesn't dismiss the fact that there is space here for some serious role playing and the ability to try out different ideas that are kind of different from your own. It gives you an opportunity to explore and decide where your own ideals might fall on the spectrum of outcomes. Now, Grey Eminence is aimed at creating dialogue and I can see it doing just that. 
However, I do feel like the robustness of the game itself can kind of distract from the issues at hand. As you know, you're so focused on meeting objectives. And you know, who, who knows, maybe that's exactly what it's like being in power. Now, depending on your game group, you really can play this two ways. And it can be an exercise in espionage or open debate, both of which play into the theme here really, really nicely. Overall, Grey Eminence is very well put together with a fascinating idea at its core. However, because it is so deeply entrenched in modern politics, I don't think it's going to be everybody's cup of tea. Do I think you should have Grey Eminence in your collection? This is the kind of game that's going to appeal to you if you like being sneaky and competitive with your friends. And of course, an interest in modern politics wouldn't go amiss either. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. To get future updates about new videos, why not like or subscribe to the channel? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Grey Eminence, I'd really like to hear from you. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care, everybody.